I didn't think that uh, bonnet pull cables could be so interesting. Well, they are for defenders because there are so many cheap ones on the market that are not worth fitting. And I want to tell you in this video why I always use genuine ones. And it, and it says, I want to give you some tips and things like this for doing cables, but um, I've got to do this 90 cable because the, it's broke. So it's a sort of good opportunity to show you what the difference is. So let's reach out first of all for a cheap Britpart cable. There you are. There's a, there's a Britpart one. Not wrong with that, is there? Look, and plenty of uh, plenty of wobbly bits at the end. You see what I mean? So what's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's this bit that's wrong with it. I don't. I, I hope you can zoom in and see there. It's just a piece of folded metal with a little couple of daft crimps here. Well, if you've got a spare wheel on your bonnet and you give this a good yank, the bloody handle comes off. It's, it's really, really pathetic. Let's just see if we can see that again, see if we can zoom into that. It's horrible. But there again, they're only three bound. So what do you expect? Now, could we solder that inside there? I don't know. It would be a good idea. But the thing is, you've got to be careful with your soldering because you can see they've got a groove here. Well, this is to stop the handle twisting, as if it matters. But um, <clears throat> if you get this built up with solder, there's an awful lot of filing to do in here. A bit of a pain, really. Now, but the rest of it's great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that bit. I mean, I've fitted them in before and I've had to replace them under warranty so many times that I just, this, I just by chance, found this on the shelf. So, let's have a look at the genuine one. Now this was bought by the customer because this is a North American spec uh, 90 and instead of having the cable on the right hand side where we are, we're all familiar with that, they put on the left hand drive vehicles, they put the air conditioning unit in there. So what they did was they shifted the cable across towards the driver on the left hand side, so these should be a bit longer. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't seem much, but you see this piece here, this is off the, 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 um, the genuine part. I see, I hope we can focus in on that. But this is a solid tube. There's a big difference, there's a world of difference. And the crimp, I didn't realize it was so difficult to film. The crimp on here is so much longer that you really can give a good pull on it. Now, when you look at the rest of it, hmm, not much difference really. Uh, this bit's considerably shorter, but otherwise it's the, it looks the same. The picture of the handle is different. The land, genuine one's got a nicer picture of a car than that one. <laughs> Big deal, eh? But these are 21 pounds each. Hmm. Now you can perhaps understand why I use truck, truck uh, engine stops, <laughs> which don't have the flexi cable in. This is what we call a Borden cable. They don't have that, it has a solid cable. Which means when you shut your bonnet, you have to push the, hand, the handle back in. You see what I mean? Because it won't spring back on its own. Pfft, big deal, but I've never snapped one yet. Now, <clears throat> why do we have to replace these? Well, apart from the handle snapping off, what goes wrong? Well, the biggest pain in the arse is the end. You see, this is a genuine one, and it's been soldered at the end, which is a good thing. Why? Because when you try and pass it through the little furrow, the little tiny connector, if it, isn't, if it isn't soldered, then the little wires will start to splay apart and then you're never going to get it in. Believe me, it won't go in. <laughs> and the more you try, the worse it gets and you think, oh, well, I'll just pull it, I'll twist it round and push it in. And then you spend all afternoon, you get all frustrated, you kick your cat and you go down the pub and, and you lose it. There, are simple, there is a simple way to do it if this does flare out. 
is to uh, solder it again. Right, so say for example this is all flared. I don't want to do it because I, I, I'll ruin the cable. If I can find an old one in a future video, I'll do it. But <clears throat> if this is all flared, solder this piece first before cutting. Very, very important. Solder it before cutting. So dip it in a little thing of flux. I don't think I've got any flux here. But dip it in some flux. Use your soldering iron. Get some solder into there. And then cut it. Cut it in the middle of the solder joint. And that means the cables won't fly apart. And it'll be a dream to put back in. Let's have a look at the Chinesey one. Well, I've got some surprises for you on the Chinese ones too. See, has that been soldered? Yes, it has. That's been soldered. But you can't, again, it's very difficult to see. It's been soldered right down to here, so that's good. Why couldn't they do it on this end as well? Now, I was just looking up, the, when I was looking up the prices for these, I was looking at also uh, where they're made. Now this one here, was made in Hungary. Thanks. Good old Hungarians. Watch me put wrong one on. Uh, <clears throat> and anyway, but the Britpack one is made in China. Now I had a look on the trade portal to see where the new ones are made, because that one's old stock, China. They're made in China now. They're all made in China. So the cheap ones are made in China, the genuine Land Rover ones, China. You can't seem to win, can you? So, but if, it, if it's crimped properly, it'll be fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fit the genuine one to this. I'm gonna clean up this car a little bit. We'll fit it. And I'll show you any tips or tricks or anything like that you need to know. But it's not going to be really relevant to you guys because it's on the wrong side. But the, the idea is exactly the same. So let's get on with that. I've just come to get around to putting this cable on. <laughs> and it's the same old bloody problem. Bullshit bars, bullshit lights, bullshit guards, 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 guards. I need to take the grill off <coughs> to get to the cable underneath. However, <clears throat> this has had air conditioning before and it's got an air conditioning um, uh, radiator support panel or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I have to take that off to get into it. Oh man, the, the, like, I hope I can just get the grill off to get into this. Uh, let's pull you around here a little bit to see. See a bit better. But it makes life so much, so awkward. Because these grills here have actually got connections through this panel, so I don't really want to touch that. But what the most frustrating thing is, is getting to these screws that go through here. Now, fortunately on this one, these supports are just a little bit further out from the edge the edge row of the bolts, you know there's three bolts that go down there, or screws. Fortunately this is on this side, but we've got to contend with the light. So I'm going to have to dig around and see if I can find a great big long screwdriver to get into there. Now, fortunately, the grill came off quite easy, thanks to my Tecton. Yes, actually, uh, these screwdrivers, Tecton and stuff like that, just, just as a thought, these, these actually come off Amazon and they're actually quite good. They've got a really comfortable handle that you can really grip on. They're not sort of round look. They're more like triangular. Good thinking, good, good thinking, Mr. Amazon. Uh, this was held on by some unusual screws because, of course, this has got a NAS spec, you know, extended front and they're these little tiny screws that go into the inserts and fortunately instead of having six in they only put four. <clears throat> now the biggest problem now is I still don't want to take this off because there is a massive intercooler in here for the turbo and space is somewhat restricted. So I, wanna, I can see the original clip you know like the, the little bolt here so we'll get a, a socket Get me a little ratchet. We'll undo the, the nut in here and uh, we'll, we'll try and get this cable off. Let me, uh, let me move the camera a bit. Let me take the camera off. 
camera off the stand and I'll show you. So there we are. There's the there's the nut. I think it's seven millimeter. What's that one now? Oh, that's eight. That's not good. Is it? But you can see how the cables got all frayed, and they've actually put under here a little wire just so they could pull this backwards and forwards. There's a clip here that holds the uh, cable on to the dash, so that that keeps the outer straight, so it doesn't move. Uh, somehow I've got to work out how I'm going to get the wire from here across to there. Um, I did notice when it comes through the bulkhead it's all broken. I'm just, I just hope these cables are going to be long enough. Whoa. Anyway, let's get this off. I don't know if taking this front off is going to be any advantage because you can see all the brackets and the bolts and things like that on there. Hmm. You want to make an, talk about making an easy job very difficult. Let's see if we can get I that I hope off. you can see here, I've got the cable off. I've taken this little special clip off that clips onto the top of the uh, slam panel. And I've also got that safely taken off. We'll have a look at that in a minute. <coughs> but as you can see, the cable is pretty frayed and it's pretty nasty. And it goes all the way through this inner wing and round here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a piece of wire to this using the you know those crimp connectors you know for electrical wire because that's all they're really good for and then we're going to pull this through till it comes out of here then cut the wire off and we'll use it to fish the other wire through it'll save an awful lot of time uh, yeah so let's get on with that so there you go just one of those blue connectors on there and zoom in a bit and see if we can see yeah there you go you see your blue connector on there now we can push this through here, work it out where it's going to go. God, that was my There. Now we're going to guide that through there. And hopefully, we will see our cable turn up here. Oh, you <laughs> missed it. <laughs> so I pulled it through. And now it's over here, so that's good. So what we're going to do now is just simply cut that wire off. Uh, we'll cut it off there. We'll leave that, that piece of uh, brown wire in, and then we can pull the cable through. So the next thing is to disconnect the other end that's in the engine bit. Now this is a bit tricky to see. The so cable comes the through here, and it's well marmalised in there. It's all bent and nasty. We'll see when we get it out, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the original place. I hope it's going to be long enough. Well, let's get it out. Well, I got the old cable off. And look at the state of it. Now, this could have been caused by many things. Obviously what it's done is it's pulled through here and pushed the covering back. At first I thought it was probably uh, something to do with it shorting using as a ground if you see what I mean. There's been a bad ground on the vehicle. And uh, these cables and the handbrake cables usually act as grounds and melt off all the bits and pieces and get hot. Now, that's one thing. So this is kaput. Okay, so that's kaput. The next thing, is it the same length? Here we go. Here we go. Oops. It's too short. Crying out loud. So now that's on that's on hold. Um, I think what they've done is supplied a 300 TDI or a TD5 one because it's got that different type of fitting on to go for the cable instead of this type. This would have been a V8 uh, before. So unfortunately, again, we're going to have to cut this video short and get a cable. Bugger. It always happens to me, doesn't it? So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see up here, but uh, to make life a bit more interesting, I'm going to take off the, uh, the pin at the top and make sure it's all nice and free. But I'm going to take it off so it doesn't lock me out, if you see what I mean. It's very important. Um, do you know something? It looks really odd. Hey, I'll tell you something. Wait a minute, it does look odd. Let's have a look a bit closer. 